Okay, so guys, if you guys have seen the thumbnail, you already know, this is a brown widow, got this as my new pet. If you're on my TikTok, you could actually see me going out and grabbing this thing. But yeah, we're not here to talk about me grabbing this thing. We're here talking about my new pet, the brown widow. Big snakes, yerd. West side reptile, yerd. This is, this is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, subscribe to this. <laughs> Start the video. First things first, I've never kept the Brown Widow, so I'm pretty excited to actually see what this entails to, you know, how its feeding behaviors are, all that good stuff. And once we finally do feed it, because I do want to feed it in this video, we'll see how fast its venom affects its prey item. So yeah, that should be freaking awesome. Anyways, cool interesting fact about these dudes. Um, you guys are probably like, bro, you shouldn't be taking out spiders from the wild, man. It's not cool, bro. But these ain't even from here. Like, this is, we. no one actually knows what continent these spiders right here originate from. So, yeah, they're invasive all throughout the United States, especially in California, because they're competing for the same food sources that the native black widow, the coastal black widow, is competing for. So, yeah, this is actually hurting populations of the black widow. In the United States and this is that's just obviously not cool but also me taking something from the wild like this spider doesn't affect the populations whatsoever okay so yeah I just wanted to put that out there and now let's get this thing up close for the cameras and see it finally eating first we got to grab the prey item for the brown widow and I actually started a farm for crickets because I was done just paying money every week for crickets when I could just be breeding them myself. So yeah, if I do successfully have crickets starting to come out of this farm, I'm dying, help me. I will do a video on how to make a cricket farm, but yeah, that's a video for another day. Okay, we got that cricket and let's give it to the black widow. Brown widow, God damn it. Let's just look at its beauty, okay? Look at that beautiful marbling on its fat badonkadonk and Y'all can see the hourglass. Well, actually, you can't see it unless I go like that. But boom, look at that freaking hourglass, bro. And now we got little cricket. Don't you dare try to escape, bro. And we're just gonna drop you in, okay? Now, I should probably get tongs so I can put it in the web because obviously the spider doesn't know that the cricket's there until it touches the web. <sighs> Boy! Okay, we're just gonna grab... Oh, crap, I'm touching the web. Dude, stop running from your father, okay? I birthed you, goddammit. Chill. I birthed you, goddammit. Gotcha. We're just gonna firstly first, let's see what happens if I just make them kiss. Huh? Okay, obviously I'm not making them kiss, but I just wanna see what the brown widow's reaction would be to the cricket directly. If I just Hey, okay, wait, the cricket's stuck in the web. This is actually good. Oh please start munching on the cricket, bro. Dude, look at that hourglass, though. Hell yeah. She's so freaking beautiful, bro. I'm so hyped. We got a new spider, bro. Like, come on. It's already a good day. Oh, okay. This cricket's trying to escape, but little does he know. You're in you're in Web City, homie. Like, there's there's no way getting... You're, you're not getting out, okay? Long story short, you're not getting out. You're staying there until you die. <laughs> Stop trying to bite the goddamn web, bro. Just just, just accept your fate, okay? You are a dead man walking. Whoa. Dead web, dead man webbing? Dead webber? You, you just dead, bro. Dude, nothing has happened for the last two minutes. Okay, we'll be back once this brown wheel actually starts doing something, bro. I swear to God. Still nothing has happened yet, and I need to go pee really bad, and I swear to God, if I come back and you have devoured that goddamn cricket, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, words can't even explain. But I'm gonna take the risk and go pee, because I really need to go pee. Goddamn idiot, I am so dumb, okay? The, the thing started attacking the thing, I can't even talk, okay? The brown widow has started flailing goddamn cricket. Boy! Web has fi- ah! Okay, the brown widow right there has been flailing, 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 flailing. How the hell do I say that word? Okay, it's been shooting web all across to that cricket like goddamn Spider-Man, okay? This dude does not play games. He's straight out of the Marvel com comics. Ew, what the hell? That's where the web comes out of? That freaking butthole? Okay, now it's biting the cricket. Um, yeah. 
Whoa, dude. Whoa. Okay, this, this is really interesting to see. Okay, so what is it doing now? Okay, it seems like it's still wrapping web all across the cricket. And now it's doing some sort of happy dance that it just got in a meal. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Hey, get, get the, should I touch it? Should I touch it, guys? Get, get back. I touched it. I'm so gangster. So after researching the brown widow and its venom, I've now learned that the brown widow is actually less toxic than the black widow. And you guys are probably like, what? So there's a few things to consider when it comes to toxicity of a spider. There's the venom toxicity. So drop per drop, how toxic each drop of venom is. And there's the yield of the venom that goes into a prey item or an attacker. So drop for drop, brown widow and black widow venom is pretty much the same. But since black widows tend to inject more venom than brown widows, they are in a sense more venomous just because the more venom that's inside of you, obviously the worst the effects are gonna be. In contrast, since these guys have very toxic venom, about as toxic as a black widow, but don't inject as much, they're not as toxic, but to invertebrates, as y'all can see, they are indeed toxic. Homie's literally dead. My bad, pimp. That's just what happened when you a motherfucking real ass boss, real motherfucking player, G. But yeah, I think that's all for the Brown Widow segment of this video, okay? It took up a big portion. Hopefully I'm able to edit it down to something that's more ingestible for you guys. I think that's the end of this part of the Going With The Flow. Let's get on to something else that's way more interesting while this thing devours its food because I'm not trying to wait here all day. So next up, what I want to show you guys is something that has just molted. So this should be pretty freaking interesting. Let me get it for y'all real freaking quick. Oh, it's right over here in this glass aquarium. We open it up and I just spilled water all over my leg because I am very stupid freezing blue face with icicles. Look at that. Look at that. Look how big this white roach is, okay? And to the untrained eye or someone that does not mess with invertebrates, you'd probably be like, bro, what's that albino roach, honey? But it ain't no albino roach, okay? This is just a freshly molted roach. And when all invertebrates molt, you guys already know, I'd be saying this all the time, they crawl out of their old skin, which... Dude, you just gonna freaking jump off me like that, bro? Very delicate in this stage. Very delicate in this stage. So here's its old skin. Yeah, that was in here probably three hours ago. How does that even work? Okay, how did you, what? Okay, that just really trips me out. But yeah, crawled out of its old skin and now is in nude skin. And now it is very delicate in this stage. And now it is developing its new skin so that it could hopefully get bigger and bigger and bigger. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Here's a closer view of the old skin. As you can see, it splits down the middle so that the roach can crawl out of it just like that. And yeah, just straight comes out of it. Even the antenna shed and everything. So it has new antennas, new eye coverings, I guess. I don't even know what those things are called. New legs, new everything, bro. Even new mandibles, which is really, really crazy. So something that you guys definitely have not seen, if you're only followed or subscribed to my YouTube channel is my baby Brazilian black tarantula. Look at these guys, okay? I got two, traded two of these for five alligator lizards, I think. I'll put a picture up of what they're gonna look like once they fully mature, but yeah, these things are just awesome. They're well wanted into the reptile hobby or tarantula hobby. So yeah, these are big bucks right here, guys. At this, this small, look how small this thing is, okay? People will be willing to pay $85. Huh? For something this, I can't, I can't. I just literally can't. So yeah, we got two of these, one Brazilian black, another Brazilian black. So I just wanted to show those off real quick. This is gonna be the last tarantula I'll show off in this going with the flow, I swear, but I just have not been able to flex this dude in a fat minute, okay? If you remember, I had this Thailand black tarantula in a critter creeper for a decent amount of time. I would never see this dude, okay? For like probably a good five months, I just did not see this dude. I would throw roaches in there. And at first I thought he actually died because the roaches were not disappearing. And then finally I seen that the roaches started disappearing and then, about a week ago, I finally was like, you know what? I need to see if this dude's alive. I need to get this dude into a 
different enclosure just so I can monitor his health and all that good stuff. So got out this container right here. Betty Crocker, sponsor me. Finally seen this dude. His abdomen was freaking small, bro. It was the saddest thing ever. I thought I, I did not think he was going to make it. I've never seen a tarantula with that small of an abdomen. And I was like, bro, he's, he, he's not going to make it, is he? Um, he was very lethargic, not moving that much. So I made sure to give him some water. I humidified the enclosure a little bit. And he's eaten like six or seven crickets back to back. And I've just been super happy. Um, he is still not too active, which Thailand Blacks are known to be very active, you know, very skittish. If I were to just blow on this dude, he would scatter across the room. But he has not been doing anything like that. So let me know if I should just try and handle this dude right here. Boy, if you don't get- Okay, so first things first, obviously we gotta give this little tree frog a little spray down, so... Let's get to spraying down. Also just realized I was wearing the hat the wrong way the whole time. It's supposed to be worn like this, so. That's embarrassing. Oh yeah, just get that spray down, bro. If you don't eat, I'll be really, really mad. Just leave that right there, because why the hell not? Goodbye. And let's do this team. Okay, let's get out the frog. Let me show you guys how much it has grown. I washed my hands before this, so yeah, the frog will not be intaking any dangerous chemicals. But yeah, bro, look how big this thing is, bro. What? Bro, what? Y'all have to tell me he has grown. He's at least half grown. Actually, more than half grown. I'd say two-thirds grown. Two-thirds full grown. So those are big numbers we're talking about here, guys, okay? Now, I have never hand-fed him successfully. Every single time that I've tried to hand-feed him, he bites my hand, so let's see if he'll do this. Look, it's a cricket, bro. He does not want the cricket. Okay. Congratulations. You played yourself. Stupid. I've really been having the urge to make a video about this dude right here, but I have not been able to. Chill, bro. Oh, gosh. Guys, you need to see this. Brody's Walden. Yo, you need to chill, bro. Please, calm down. No, get away from me with that ugly hat. Calm down, dude. This dude's such a derp. Get off the glass. Get off the glass, bro. Damn it, I'm caught. I'll just pee on him later. These guys are known for peeing on me. They're not known for peeing on me specifically, but they are known for being a little peers. Most amphibians are because that's how they store water, just so they don't dry out. And earlier, I didn't get it on camera because I forgot to press record. He pissed all over my room. Sprayed shoot onto my bed bro just meow. so i'm gonna put him down before that happens again let's get this video done goodbye late late goodbye dude here you've done well you've done well with the drip though hey yo can you please look at the camera dude like come on oh bro look at the oh my god just look at the look at the camera oh my look why do you keep on looking the other way, dude? I know you're nocturnal and <laughs> fastest way to get pimples. Get on me. Just, just do it, bro. Just, just do it, dude. Yeah, we out here, bro. Hey, shouty, what's your birthday? He just peed on me. Um, yeah, he just peed on me. His pee smells dry. I don't know how to explain that, but his pee smells dry. It tastes dry as well. <laughs>